Ubu, hi, and welcome. Let's go see how I got to this night sky painting. Ubu, hi, and welcome. I'm going to be doing a night scene from the Philippines. Here's the photo reference on my tablet. So, obviously, the first thing you do is just cover it in one color because this is a night scene. I don't want to do black because I am actually going to add black in the foreground more so than the background. Um, so I decided to go not black, but a grayish, um, slight blue. So here I am just like covering the entire canvas with it. But, uh, I found that I wasn't necessarily happy. It just seemed too dark. So I switched it. I quickly mix up a lighter color and, uh, go with it and, I was actually a little bit more pleased with this because there it is kind of brighter-ish in because of the moonlight, and then I decided to add actually a little bit more blue. My paints, like I said, are basic. I just have a basic green, blue, red, and um, yellow, white, black. I don't have any of those special um, cadmium yellow, titanium white. I like to just have basics and just try to just match and do what I want because you don't need expensive paints to do painting. If you can handle it with just the basics, why not? Will I do some um, more exact kind of paints maybe in the future? But right now, I just wanted to show you how to do a simple, uh, fairly quick um, night scene from the Philippines. Because someone from the Philippines actually sent me that photo. So here I got grab some just white. And of course I use acrylic paints. I do tend to like those because uh, you can add water to make them more like a watercolor or just leave them. They are qu quick drying. So you may only have to leave it for a few minutes. Or just grab a hair dryer and go over it for like a minute or two. And it dries very quick. And uh, I think somewhat I may have needed to do that, but I am kind of doing a somewhat wet on wet technique here because I do want the clouds to actually blend in to the painting a little bit while also still adding some brighter parts for highlights because this is still in the background. I don't want it to be super detailed, but I just wanted to make it so that the person that saw it can tell that this is clouds or can resemble clouds. So that's what I was hoping for. And uh, as you saw in that reference photo, it is uh, there is a brighter part to it. So that's why I'm trying to go a little lighter in one section of the painting where the other ones I'm blending more of the clouds in to the background because they're not that uh, prominent for the painting. But when I put the foreground on, it will kind of stand out a little bit better. And um, so, yeah, here I'm trying to, again, try add highlights and just under darker undertones. Just trying to make it look clouds, three-dimensional-ish three kind of. And... Um, Again, it's not going to need to be super detailed because it's in the back. And uh, for the most part, I do use the same size brush. Uh, the large one, but occasionally I use a small one for more of the highlights. And uh, it's also a good thing to not always go by exactly the painting. Go paint what you feel. And that's what I like. I, a lot of times I add things or I keep things out because this is just how I feel the painting should be. So it becomes my painting versus here if someone wants me to, hey, can you paint this? And it's never exact. I don't like doing exact. See, there's a color I have, white, basic. Um, so now I'm trying to get the moon going. And... Uh, so this video is going to end soon, and I'm going to show you part two, where I start more with the moon, and, uh, and uh, you know,
excited put that shine on there. Did I succeed? Well, let's go find out.